All eyes will be on the Palmetto State in November when Senator Lindsey Graham attempts to defend his Senate seat from Democratic opponent Jamie Harrison. This is not Lindsey Graham's seat. This seat belongs to the people of South Carolina. It is not anticipated that Lindsey Graham will lose, but it is more of a race than I think he would have liked. Running against a popular three-term senator is not an easy task, but Harrison believes he's up for the challenge. This is a guy who's both disconnected and tone deaf. As of this week, South Carolina has recorded more than 8,000 coronavirus cases. Democrats claim the situation is made worse by health care cutbacks in the state over the past several years. We've seen several hospitals combined. We've seen health care facilities close. Meanwhile, Senator Graham backs the federal coronavirus response. To the hospitals on the front line, there's a ton of money to help you with supply shortages on the medical side. Harrison's main point of contention with Graham, his role on the Senate Judiciary Committee. I'm just very concerned with the types of people that Lindsey Graham uh, pushes forward and, and places for a lifetime appointment on, the, on our federal bench. Senator Graham has been leading the charge to help us confirm a record number of judges. Thank you for Justice Kavanaugh and Justice Gorsuch. Both Senate candidates know that their fates are closely tied to the electoral success of Joe Biden and President Donald Trump. You know why you're going to win? You've been a damn good president. You know, I, I think Joe Biden has a very good shot here in South Carolina. With Harrison outraising Graham in the last quarter, every vote is going to count in South Carolina this November.